This is a model rip of Sheik from Ocarina of Time, 558 triangles, pretty standard amount for characters on the N64. You'll notice some joints are segmented while others are deformed. Now for the textures, this texture sheet was modified by the model ripper to display properly in modern 3D engines. They won't actually be tiled like this on the N64. The N64 only supported texture sizes up to 64x64 64 64 and didn't have much memory. Ocarina of Time is only 26 megabytes in total. This meant artists had to be very creative in how they used textures. Look at this glowy bit right here. You can see how it's stretched across the bicep, the butt, the back, and calves to create highlights. This pattern is used to create outlined areas on the outfit, and this one is used all over for cloth. There are also some unique elements like the eye and front cloth chest piece. If you look at Ganon, you can see similar things happening with texture use though his body is fully segmented with no deformed joints. Ocarina of Time's aesthetic was really built around this use of tiling textures combined with clever triangle placement. Not all N64 games used a lot of tiling though. You can see Spider-Man is pretty much all unique textures, so is Leon from Resident Evil. Personally, I think Ocarina of Time's aesthetic is way more distinctive and interesting to look at. Unlike the PS1, the N64 supported texture filtering, though to improve performance, it used a custom kind where it only sampled three surrounding pixels instead of four, which artists took advantage of to do some cool stuff. I put a link in the description for a shader that emulates this kind of texture filtering, but I doubt anyone would notice if you used regular texture filtering. Okay, so I made a low poly model here and put together a few textures. I think between 13 and 20 unique textures is a good goal to aim for with a main character. Just going to apply the textures to the model using separate materials for each texture and assigning those materials to the faces I want them to be on. I think that's good enough, and then I'll just make some simple assets that use one or two textures each and put together a scene, set the resolution to 320 by 240 which which was the most common resolution on the N64, and we're done. I think it's a lot more difficult to get something that looks good in this style compared to the PS1 style, definitely something that takes a lot more artistry, which I don't have. If you'd like to learn more, check out my video on how to make PS1 style graphics, or my course on how to make retro style graphics, link in the description.